Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're just going to do a quickie general for the collective for today. This will be for April 4th, 4-4 portal, okay. Um, from what I can tell, the overall vibe is just there's some kind of change in event planning and a need to keep a level head with your decisions overall. I'm going to go ahead and identify your sun, moon, rising, and Venus, okay. But if any other placements come up, which... I don't really see any extras here, but if they do come up or any other placements with regards to the signs that are here, uh, you might want to go follow that. Um, keep an eye out for the week, so to speak, at least within the next 72 hours, maybe within the next few weeks of the next messages, okay? We do have some timing here, so more may be coming down the pipeline for you. Uh, so far, what we have, and I'm also going to include um, any animals, which I only see two at the moment. <laughs> just as, as a glance at the three okay as well as any numbers the numbers can mean have any significance for you they could be identifiers or signs and synchronicities at this time as well so the signs that we have on the table are Taurus Sagittarius Scorpio Cancer Taurus again um, Scorpio Sagittarius Sagittarius we have Cancer Pisces Scorpio we have Gemini Year of the dog, so someone that might be year of the dog, or a dog might be significant, tiger might be significant, egret or heron, or some kind of water bird might be significant, a fox might be significant, Capricorn might be significant, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio, Libra, Sagittarius, with this page of cups here. More water sign, okay. And as far as your numbers, you have four. 21 breaks down to a three. 14, five, 20, two, four, 26, eight, 11, two, 18, and nine. So those numbers might be significant. The letter S might also be significant. Uh, there may be somebody that's in Zoom, the Generation Z Zoomer. <laughs> Um, might be significant, an in-law or step, step person, mother, father, brother, sister, etc., cousin even, okay? Um, so what you have, oh, Cancer and Pisces with that moon over there as well. I'm definitely getting a sense of some sort of event or celebration. Um, it doesn't have to be like a wedding. It could be with this Venus love here. Uh, but Venus is all about partnerships in general. Uh, so work, love, life could involve children. You do have a page here and you do have children. So it could be like a child's party too. Uh, there may be a hiccup in planning it just because of some deception or maybe some old trap of some kind here with this fox energy over here. Uh, but you'll be, you know, be prepared for it. You do have the nine of wands over here with the eight of swords. So it's not going to be too much. You'll be strong in in terms of um, having your guard up regarding it. It's going to end up stable with the house here. Um, I see this more as this new beginning. It could be for a child. It could be about a child. Um, maybe it's an investment big time, but it's going to turn out brilliantly here with um, Goddess Fortuna showing up. So it's going to be a lot of fun. You definitely have that with the tank card. Celebration, fun, and enjoyment. Uh, but there may be some changes in planning. The month of November might be significant. Maybe this planning started last November or will be happening up in November. And with this Capricorn energy here, you're definitely going to have to be ambitious and practical and resourceful, hardworking, cautious, okay? Um, in case you have unscrupulous vendors or services, right? Um, and it could be something as simple as like maybe um, something a child or a person or an aspect of whatever event that's taking place here that somebody wanted isn't going to be able to happen. Immediately what I think of um, with regards to this fox is um, like I immediately thought of like, you know, maybe a kid wanted a particular cartoon character person to show up and they get sick, for example, so they can't have that. Or maybe there's a mistake made on their cake, right? So it could be something very minor that's easily to, easy to uh, fix, so to speak. Uh, you may have to cut some things out. There may be some things that are just not sufficient enough that you need to make some good decisions on, on behalf of it, on behalf of the 
desires in this situation as well, okay? You do have beginnings, and it's all clarified this here. I get this uh, sense that it's an unexpected situation off this Blood Moon card here. Um, you also do have a little bit of Seven of Swords energy, so maybe, you know, it could be like bait and switch. You know, maybe they price you or quote you on something, and then it ends up being more right at the end of the day where they fail to mention a delivery fee or something like that right um you could also be dealing with a female energy i see that with the cow lady cow cowgirl over there as well as a mature masculine energy over here with this king of cups okay uh but whatever this is just bear with in the next 72 hours something's going to happen that you might have to be aware of and make a decision on this could be an event happening in a few weeks as well, or there might be more coming down the pipeline to worry about in a few weeks as well, okay? Just a bit of timing on that one. I'll go ahead and get some, some guidance on this. It's pretty straightforward, but we'll go ahead and pause the video and pull some guidance for you, all right? Okay, so for guidance, you have having strength, um, strong and courageous, so just be in that energy. Um... There's going to be communication here with uh, your masculine energy, so keep an eye out for all your quick methods of communication, text messaging, email, that sort of thing, social media included, anything having to do with computers and devices is in, in his jurisdiction. So there may be some messages coming through that indicate whatever change, both these cards indicate transition and change here. Um, I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Now, the Bill of Your card could indicate maybe you might need someone that literally is going to build something or put something together, okay? Um, so there may be an aspect of change with regards to that. That might give you a good identifier as to what to be, maybe to be on the lookout for. But this could also just be you putting together this event successfully, right? Definitely relationships involved. Trust going with the flow, okay? Have hope, love, acceptance here. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth. Choose loving thoughts. So stay positive, okay? Uh, any changes occurring, pay attention for the 333 here. It's just new growth, arrival of good news. It could also mean that everything's in alignment and nicely balanced and that your ascended masters are guiding, which is what I kind of think these two cards are really about. Um, could just be coming together, celebration, gathering, right? Sense, feel, reconnect. Um, and it just may mean also that you have ancestors that are over, and they're watching over you during this process, right? Making sure everything comes together beautifully. Um, you do have that with the wolf moon there. You might also want to just connect in general, maybe pay attention to your intuition. They might give you a little heads up. They could be communicating through some sort of intuitive ping for you. Shine brightly, stand out, be proud, and individuality. So just... Keep doing you, boo. It sounds awesome so far. Pretty simple. I love it. I'm going to go ahead and pull from our new Metaphysical Cannabis Oracle deck. See what else guidance we have for you at this time. And then get you a mantra. All right, Spirit for the Collective. I'll take the top. <laughs> Although I will show you the bottom one because it is cute. All right. You have glamour energy, glam. So maybe there's going to be some sense of self-care, self-love, and beautifying energy going on with this event too, okay? Um, or maybe just add more glamour to it. That could be a suggestion here. You have duro ile, compassion. All right. I'll also list off the page numbers that both these cards are on in case they might be significant for you. Glamour Energy is on 71, July, January, 7th, 1st. Also breaks down to an 8, which is abundance number. Okay. Duro Ile 116. That breaks down to an 8 as well. Interesting. So I see 1, 16, 11, November, January, and June in that as well. Okay, that could be significant in some way, could be an identifier of parties involved too, okay, that may come up with these changes. A man sits on the ground in deep meditation as his hands work 
with numerous mala beads. His body and skin are covered in sacred geometric markings from all his incarnations, and he knows the lessons very well in this human experience. The Duro Ile card appears when you have cut through all the beliefs in your life that truly hold your spirit down. The man emits a velvet green aura, and there are sagura, sagura, sagaro cacti and aloe plants in the background, which seem to be part of him. <clears throat> this card reminds us to build a strong foundation in order to ascend to higher frequencies, realms, and ways of life. Embody the feeling or experience you want and become grounded in the reality that you could bring whatever you want to you. Wear your protective jewelry and adorn yourself intentionally. Okay, so do things with good manifestation and intention, okay? Of authentic to you, all right? And with compassion. And your mantra. I am in control of my life because I am capable of powerful positive change. <laughs> I love it. Okay, there you go. Hopefully that helps. Have a good one. Bye.